What's up, YouTube? Got some deliveries today. Um, a few Armas. Now, I already had this, this Sentin Mega. I had the red one. But I really never did a like a first look or an unboxing as I bought it as it was an open box. I paid 165 I think, for it. It was when they were pretty new. Um, but it had a bad motor. Someone had bought it, ran it, the motor burned up on them, and so they sent it back, and I got it for 165 This one, though, this one is brand new. This one was not, um, hasn't been um, driven before. And I got this one for 150 on the eBay, um, on the eBay auction. I won it for 150 So, um, you know, I saved $15.00. And then also, um, it's brand new, 100% running. So I'll be able to get a stock. I never ran the first one stock. I ran it with a couple different motors. I had an, an FS Racing 550, and then I had uh, I put a torque tuned in it for a while, and I was running it on the Tamiya, um, the TBLE 02S ESC, and I was running 2 and 3S. And then I swapped to brushless. And it's held up fine brushless. I've got a 43KV 60 amp um, system in there. It's OC Day, which is sort of like Ghoul RC. It's the same thing. They take the same programmer. Um, I just, uh, you know, a lot of things have the same uh, manufacturer with different uh, name brands on them. But anyway, um, yeah. So this one I got for 150. I think they're still I don't know what 229 or something like that, maybe 219 plus tax. And um, so I you know uh, I couldn't pass it up. I also got another voltage right here, the same color as before. Um, this one I got for 65. Um, this is before um, they went on sale for 99. And uh, I got the first one I think was 68, and this one was 65. And this one's also brand new, but I opened it up and there is no batteries or a charger. So someone bought this, stole the batteries in the charger. They must be vapors. They must have been vaping. <laughs> and they sent it right back. It's brand new though still. It smells brand new. There's not a scuff on it. There's, the tires are perfect. Everything's brand new. And that's fine. Um, yeah. Back to this. So I uh, never really got to run one of these stock. I took the ESC out. And I put this, I put it in something else, and that motor, like I said, it was burnt up on arrival. So this one I'm gonna run bone stock and do a couple of reviews on it bone stock, and then um, I'll do a, another brushless swap. Like I was saying, the 4370, no, 4300 kV 60 amp OC day, and the other one is running fine. I have it on uh, the low punch though, just to kind of save that input shaft. Um. I guess it's called input shaft, but to me, it's an output shaft. You know what I mean? It, uh, it's the it's the rear output shaft because it kind of it's like the male, you know, which would be the output. It goes, it, it points out, and then on the transmission where the slipper's at, that's in. That'd be the female. But they call it input shaft. I guess I don't know. But when I first was looking at it, I was calling it the output shaft, <laughs> and I've seen a couple other people call it output shaft too. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the, the, this is the transmission right here. There's a shaft that comes from, from back here out into the transmission. From back here out into the transmission. And that's the one that ends up breaking. And then um, it's a male. It would be the male end out. And then this would accept it like a female. And um, so that's why I call it the output shaft always. But I guess it's input shaft. That's what I was labeling it, I think. When you look at them online, they're... It says, uh, you know, updated input. So um, as far as the input shaft with the motor I'm running in my other one, it's fine. Um, just run your punch settings. If you have, like, a, I, I suggest a 27 tooth pinion and lower your punch settings and you'll be fine for quite some time um, because a 27 tooth pinion is, has less torque. So um, it's not snappy off the line. And also when you lower your punch settings down, it does the exact same thing. It doesn't uh, kick in until you're already rolling and you're already going faster. Um, the way my arm is set up, uh, my other sets is set up, I won't get full, um, even anything close to a full punch until I'm 75% and up on the throttle. <clears throat> 
So I can kind of tool around on 50, 75, 50 and, and under 75% all day. And if I want to really hit it, then I have to go 75% and then it will punch pretty hard. But that, I'm already rolling and going fast. And the problem with these is, is, the, is the launching or the first initial punch is what's going to break that. Um, so as long as you, you know, run your settings on, um, on lower punch, you should be fine. And, and if everything breaks eventually. And when it does break, you can always update those shafts. Um, I'm going to do a couple updates on this one. Uh, this one's going to be um, my project. I'm going to run it like this. I'm going to run it on nickel metal. I'm going to run it on lipo. I'm even going to run it on a 3S lipo, 2S and 3S lipo. Not really worried about this motor. Just want to see what kind of speeds I can get stock. And then I'm going to do the same thing with a 27 tooth pinion. I'm going to run it on the nickel metal. I'm going to run it on a 2S and I'm going to run it on a 3S. And then I'm going to take this system out. I'm going to put a 5200 kV in it um, with an 80 amp, I think. I'm not sure what system yet. I might go with the Max 10. I'm not positive. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the, the input shaft. And I'm going to update um, the center shaft as well with the VLX system. Um, I'm pretty sure it will accept it. Um, I hope it will accept it. Um, I mean, there's just a little ring carrier here for a bearing. It's like a little bearing carrier. And I think it, it, it would uh, screw in here. But don't hold me to that. Um... And then you can always get the metal plate uh, transmission. I don't know if it's necessary, but I know that the, the input shafts will be necessary. I don't think the BLX ones fit. The pitch of gears could be different. Don't hold me to that. But they do make an updated version for it. It was out of stock for a while, but I believe it is back in stock. <clears throat> anyway, so th th this is a really good truck. Modular design. True modular design. I mean, uh, a lot, there's a lot of modular designs modular designs but this is true modular design this is limited tools you can pretty much break down these shocks with no tools i can rebuild this with no tools the only thing you need is to take them off and once they're in your hand no tools um uh with this here too you just take this one screw out on the bottom you pop this off you pull that out and your whole motor assembly is out and um of course you, you pull this shaft out it's spring loaded jtrc it drives me crazy when I hear him saying spring launched all the time. That's my boy though, man. Uh, he's taught me a lot. I learned a lot from watching his channel. And I appreciate his channel. But he keeps saying spring launched, spring launched. And I understand. Because um, if, you if you're don't, if you not careful with this, if you pull it off, it will launch out of your hand. So uh, spring launched is the correct term. But um, it's called spring loaded. When it's something like this, it'd be spring loaded. It's a spring loaded drive shaft. My boy, shout out to JTRC. Funny thing is, I don't think he follows me. <laughs> so he ain't going to see this shit anyway. Um, I don't think he follows a lot of people. Who knows? I know he's never liked or commented on any of my videos. But, um, yeah, he's a cool guy. He's like, anyway. So, this is this also comes out the same way. You can just take this out. Boom, it pops right off. And this whole assembly will come out together. Easy access underneath for your servo. <clears throat> um, the difference, you know, on the BLX and this is these are not adjustable. You can always uh, upgrade to adjustable ones. I haven't had a problem with it. This thing tracks straight. These track so straight, and they don't give you any issues. So unless you break one, I wouldn't upgrade one. And they're super beefy. Um, you know what I mean? And these these drive shafts seem great. I've uh, had I haven't heard of anyone having any issues with them, and neither have I. Um, I've heard people talk a lot of shit about these shocks. I'm not sure why. I guess because they're plastic bodied and stuff like that. But they are they do a really good job. Armour does a great job dampening these and um, using the right, um, um, you know, spring rate and oil and preloads, spacers. Because these just handle great. They jump right out of the box. They handle great out of the box. They have, they have enough give in the front to slap all the way down when you land. And so that's really good. Um, these things are just really, really good RCs. Um, and I, I, you know, like I said, I get these for I got them for 150. The other one I got for 165. But this one's brand, brand new. The other one was not. Like I said, some kid got it and probably ran it all out, and just that motor didn't last very long for him. I guess a couple of runs. Um, but yeah, this one. Uh, Back to this. This is a uh, this is just a hobby wing. It's just rebranded with Arma. A lot of companies do that. This is like a 1040. 
the 1040 brushed, and this is a 12 turn 550, plenty of torque, decent RPM. Um, you figure, you know, 550s, uh, they turn less RPM than a 540 would do. So a 12 turn 550 is equivalent to probably like a, mm, a 19 or a 20 turn 540. So this will have about the same RPM as maybe a 19 turn 540 would, but more torque. So that's not bad. They're not speed demons, you know. Um, 550s aren't meant to be speed demons. They're meant for torque. And they're brought out to, you know, push heavier 4x4 brush vehicles, you know. And that's what 550s are really for. But you can. Some of them uh, can spin RPM if you put 3S into them, you know. Um, like anything else. Uh, some can handle it, some can't. Low turn 550s, they won't handle 3S, but I ran my 19 turn 5, it was a 19 or a 16, it was the new one, so it was a 16 turn Red Cat 550 because it was the newer model. It was the newer model motors that they come out with, I bought a, um, this guy, he, he, he uh, gets them out of blackouts and stuff like that, and he sells them on eBay, I bought a brand new setup, and I ran that in my WL Toys right here with the Red Cat 16 turn and a 3S. I don't know, 50, 75, 100 packs, I don't know, a lot of packs until that motor started taking shit. It's not all the way done, I just swapped it out. Um, I could probably use it in a little bash and rig or something like that and run it on 2S, it'll be fine. But the brushes are probably about mm, 60, 75% warm, so it's starting to slow down a little bit. Maybe not that warm, but you know, they're getting warm. Um, but anyway, 550, some 550s can handle 3S. I don't know if this one will, but I'm just gonna run a little speed run on 3S, like a couple quick bursts, and it should be able to handle that. I know this, the speed controllers will. But like I said, this is full modular, tough design, these are great. I haven't had a problem with the shocks. I guess a couple people had quality control where they had an O-ring that was pinched and it was leaking. I haven't had an issue with that whatsoever. <clears throat> on any of my armors, I have, a, uh, well this is my fourth now, I guess. Um, but the first two arms I had, the chocks were great, even though they are plastic body. You know, Armour knows what they're doing. They put the, they reinforce things where they need to be reinforced, and they make things pliable where they need to be pliable. Kind of like the way ECX does stuff. Um, I, I, I find them to be very similar. Besides, like, you know, Armour's 8th scale stuff and all their, you know, um, you know, stunt trucks and stuff like that. ECX really doesn't have that. ECX just really has basher stuff that you can, you can tune to race if you, if you want to. Some of their stuff, you know, like their torment and their circuit. <clears throat> but um, as far as the bashing and stuff, they really remind me a lot of each other. Um, but yeah, these are really great trucks. Um, and like I said, go brush this with these and just go with the 27 tooth pinion. You're going to want to go with the 27 tooth pinion for less torque to save that shaft. And you're going to want to go with a lower punch setting to save that shaft. And it was, it still rips just like that, man. And I have so much fun. Um, and this, I like this color. It looks great. I had to get this color. I had to. <clears throat> but um, I'm going to keep this one. And I'm probably going to end up selling. I have a voltage. That, that new voltage I'll end up selling. And I also have another amp brand new that I end up selling. Probably to one of my friends. Hopefully, that has kids, maybe. They want to get into the hobby. That'd be perfect. But I'm going to end up keeping this. I was going to sell this, but I just can't. It's not going to happen. This color is too nice. I'm going to do my test on it. Like I said, um, stock out the box with three different battery types. And then with the 27 tooth pinion with the stock setup with three different battery types. And then we're going brushless. We're going to go with the 5200 kV, I think, is what we'll do with that. In 27 tooth pinion. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna ha I'll have two of these, and one, one this one's just gonna be a little bit more, uh, a little more fast. The other one is gonna be have you know 900 more kV per volt, 900 more kilovolts. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give a little, um, do a little quick video. The armor set in mega. I mean, people. People have these, you know, they're not they're not new. Um, there's been plenty of these videos. And, uh, yeah, they come with the, um, the 8.4. 
It's uh, the nickel metal, but it's got the extra cells, so those are cool, you know. They get good power, but not for that long. So you might get a little bit more um, speed out of this for the first minute or so, and then it'll slow down, and then it'll be slower than your LiPo. And that's the thing about nickel metal. They got, they're, they're good. And after they, they cycle for a while and they, they get a good charge, they'll be fine for a minute or so. And then, you know, they kind of just kind of slowly start wearing down, slowly and slowly wearing down until they're, till they're dead. And that's the reason why everyone runs LiPo now. And the discharge rate on these, I mean, they can't, they can't uh, keep up really with uh, brushless motors or, or, any, or even a uh, low-turn, you know, brush, super low-turn brushed. Um, any high RPM motor is going to need lipo, in my opinion. But yeah, this is cool that it comes with an extra cell, and it's Dean's. <clears throat> and then I guess you know it's got yeah, it's got the tactic. People complain about this tactic for some reason, but I like the feeling of it. It's three channels. You know, you got a three channel here. It doesn't have Bluetooth or anything like that, like the new um, Traxxas stuff. But there's nothing wrong with this. You got your dual rates, you got your trims, and you got your third channel. And on this side, you've got your reversing. Um, and it's really, really light, and I like that. I like that. And, well, there's no batteries in it, of course. It'll be heavier. But I like the, the fact that it's light, you know, and it's got the foam wheel. I don't see a problem with it. I don't need um, um, any kind of, like, stability control stuff. Um, I don't like that kind of stuff, like TSM or whatever other companies you call their stuff, you know, um, gyro, you can put gyros on things. I like to counter steer and steer. And if I lose it, I lost it. You know what I'm saying? And that's on me. And if I roll it down there far away from me, I rolled it far away from me. And that's on me. So I practice more until I won't roll it. I don't believe in any kind of stability, traction control, any of that kind of stuff. Maybe if I was trying to shoot a video and I was doing some, some super jumps or something like that, some special jumps, and I had to line up perfectly and I didn't want to keep shooting over and over again, then yeah. But then again, you could just practice. The more you practice, you won't need stability. But if you've always got stability on, you're never going to be that good. And that's, that's the way I feel about it. The same with driving cars. Um, I jump in the newer cars. I turn all that stuff off. And... Um, I just like it um, real, you know. And so this doesn't have any stability stuff like that. I don't believe Arma has that. They might come out with it, but I don't think they have like a gyro system, you know, that uh, that helps with your steering and stuff like that or your, you know. Losi's got, their, what is it called, ABC and stuff like that. So uh, Arma doesn't have it. And that's another thing I like about Arma. Another thing I like about Arma are the tires. These D-Boot tires, they're great. Not too many Raider runs come with good tires, and these are, for Raider runs, these are pretty phenomenal, if you ask me. And the, the ones on the, the ones that come on the Voltage are great. I was really surprised. Those little, um, these little, um, their D-Boot um, stadium truck. These things are soft, and um, these uh, ribbed ones in the front, um, they're great. They work great. I mean, um, as far as ready to run stuff, you never get good ready to run tires. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you this and um, give you a quick uh, rundown on what I'm going to do with it. And um, I'll make some videos here soon. I'm going to charge the nickel metal and uh, go driving and then uh, charge a 2S and a 3S and go take it out. That'll probably be today. Um, got the day off. Um, so... No work today, nothing to do. But this weekend is I'm gonna be busy. I've got a lot of um, a lot of stuff to do in the back garden. Alright guys. Peace.